Hello everybody, my name of course is Cashy Cans and welcome back into a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the most up-to-date and best strategy for the new Zombies game mode in Crunker.io. Out of all the guides on YouTube right now, this is the most up-to-date. I don't want to waste much time, but I want to preface this video with a few things. The first thing is, you are going to need a team of four people. The second thing is, this video is not the be-all and end-all to get you to round 100. As much as the guide that I'm going to talk about in today's video will get you round 100 if you are good enough, it will take trial and error, it will take persistence, but I promise you, if you do what I talk about on this guide with your team, you have the potential to reach round 100 and unlock the new unobtainable for yourself. Okay, so this is the basic image for what you want every player to do. All I'm showing you this image for is just so that you understand what I'm talking about when I talk about player one, player two, player three, and player four. As you can see, player four needs to hold all these spawns down here. Player one needs to watch this door and train the zombies over here. Player two needs to basically train the zombies around the bot, make sure that they don't touch it. And if they do, we buy the music machine that I'll talk about in just a minute. And then player number three trains over here and watches these two spawns. Let's hop in game and let me explain how you do this. All right, so at the very beginning of the game, the first thing you want is a player on each one of these points that you currently see on screen. For the first few rounds, all you wanna be doing is essentially farming points because you're gonna need a lot of them. So player one is gonna be playing on this window here. Player two is gonna be playing on this window here and making sure that he defends the bot. Player three is gonna play over here he's going to control this spawn and this spawn and then player four has a task he has to essentially train the zombies from one two three four different spawn points now the strategy for the first 20 to 30 rounds is pretty simple as i mentioned you would like to farm points you're going to need a lot of them so make sure you aren't spinning the box unless you get a fire sale and make sure that you buy all your perks up nice and early if you're spinning the box you're looking for a charge rifle for this strategy but as you can see right now, if you're a player four, you want to be training the zombies around this area here, making sure not to go past this line. Otherwise, you're going to spill the zombies into the bot. As you can see, what my friend Rescue over here is doing is he is currently just training the zombies around the bot that spawn out of one and two. Since it is so early, he can do this on his own, but... In the later rounds, you are definitely going to need two players here on this bot. So this is the basic strategy for rounds 1 to 20. It's not too complicated, but it gets a little bit messy after this. These zombies get a lot quicker, so let's talk about it. One more thing I'd like to mention. As you're watching right now, there's some gameplay of me actually playing this strategy. You want to be playing for insta-kills. Every time you get an insta-kill, you want to save it to make it last as long as possible. If you time it just right, you can get just about two free rounds out of an insta-kill, like you see me and my team doing here, just by standing in the spots that I show you guys earlier in the video. Yeah, this is what it looks like to just train the zombies up in this spot. So it is very important that two players play near this bot past round 30. These zombies are going to go so fast that you're going to be running out this window so quickly that they're going to attack this bot instantly. So you need to make sure that you have a player here ready to take these zombies away and distract them from touching the bot. This is the player two window, as I like to call it. As you can see, rescue player one over here, he's going to be taking the zombies over the other way, kind of closer to this box and then training them behind this little shack here. As you can see, we got a fire sale drop. So when you do get a fire sale drop, you want to rush yourself over to the box and you want to non-stop spin this for the charge rifle. There is no better gun in this game than the charge rifle. So that is all you want to be spinning for right now. It will give you the most amount of points because we're going to need a lot of those later. Let me explain why. Okay, so you and your team have followed the first few steps I talked about. You've got yourself around 15,000 points each. You know, you've got no deaths. You've got a few charge rifles, but these zombies are starting to get way too fast. They're instantly attacking the bot. And well, what are you going to do now? This is the main training strategy for player number three. And let's pretend, oh no, there's a walker on the bot. So when we get overwhelmed, all we do is we come over here, get some points, hit the car battery, and almost instantly, all of the zombies are going to be running towards this. Now, 
presumed by round 30 that you have charged rifles, all you're going to do is continuously charge your rifle into them and farm up enough points to essentially rinse and repeat this strategy. You should be gaining roughly 1,000 to 2,000 points per music box in the higher rounds because as you can imagine, there's going to be more than just a colossal stuck on this. If you can execute that cleanly every single round with every player communicating with each other, that is the real strategy to get round 100 here in zombie facility. So while player three is pressing the music box whenever needed, there is going to need to be another player or two standing next to this music box ready to pull the zombies away. So what you're going to want the other players to be doing here is essentially baiting all of these zombies off of this music box so they don't run into the bot. Now there's a few different ways to do this. You can either stand where I'm standing, have all the zombies follow you and then lead them around that shack. Or if you want a little bit of an easier strategy, you can just slowly edge your way over here and surprise, surprise, you can get almost every single one of these zombies stuck. Now, what you want to do from here is you want to farm up as much points as you can from these guys until you feel like you're getting overwhelmed. And then you or a teammate can hit either the door, which I wouldn't recommend because it is very expensive now, but it could give you an insta kill. But more importantly, you would like to hit the car again to turn the music back on. And this is essentially the strategy. We're going to have a player over there just making sure nothing touches the bot. But overall, I think that is the zombie facility strategy. This video is not the be all and end all to your guide. You are going to need a lot of trial and error. It is going to take a lot of fails and you guys are going to need a lot of communication. I really do hope this guide helps you out on your grind in zombies. And I really hope that somebody watching this video goes on to get round 100 and unlock the unobtainable pet. If you're interested in watching my team grind for the unobtainable pet, I'm live right now over on twitch.tv forward slash cashy streaming this grind. Currently my PB is 77. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you come over. Thank you Resky for helping me with this video. Thank you yes. all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.